Nate from the Six Shop here. Today I'm talking about the easy pull clutch levers with options, different levers with RSC, the RSC easy pull clutch, and the new Impact Tech easy pull clutch lever. Both of these options give you a much easier lever pull, and there's some differences between them. Um, RSC gives you a couple different options. This is the bushing style pivot, which has a plastic insert that's made out of Delrin plastic, which is self-lubricating. RSC used to offer a bushing and a bearing that was a needle bearing. And in the last year or so, or for 2015, they changed to the sealed ball bearing style. So it actually has sealed ball bearings like this, um, like you would see maybe in skateboard wheels. Impact Tech has actually opted for the needle bearing that RC used to use. Um, I guess it's supposed to be a smoother action. Not sure the reasons behind that. Okay, so that's the difference between the pivot style. I'm trying to be completely unbiased and to show the different features of these these different of these two clutches that we sell, and it's completely up to you what you choose. Um, the other differences that I can see, I guess, or point out here is the Impact Tech is trying to go for a lighter, sleeker look, I guess. And so there's some machine pockets to take some of the weight and material away from the perch. Um, there's machine pockets in the lever itself. And the overall, the entire clamp perch assembly is a little bit narrower and maybe gives you a little more room to try to snug it up against your handbrake master. Uh, both really excellent choices. Can't really say anything bad about either one at all. Um, you can mix and match some of the colors. Uh, most of the the RCs tend to come in all one color, like where the 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 cap, the perch, and the lever are all the same color. So if you order a green one or a purple one or something, most of them are the, the entire lever is the same color, but is able to be custom ordered with mix match. Um, Impact Tech offers it. You can order them all separately, even through our website. Their drop down menus, you can say, I want this color perch and this color lever, and make custom color combinations. Uh, they actually offer a Brembo matching color combination. So if you put it next to this lever, you can have this Brembo gunmetal color as the perch and the black lever, so it, com it matches exactly. They also make a Magura coloring where there's the, the gunmetal perch and a shiny silver lever. Uh, both of them have a Rasta look where they have the perch cap is one color and the, the uh, perch itself is another color and the lever a third color to get the red, yellow, and green. If you're interested in the inner workings of these at all, uh, here is the RSC. There's a, a nylon, they're called a nylock lock nut that goes on the back side. And this is a shoulder bolt. Um, it's called that because it has a smooth section and that's what the bearing pivot's on. There's no threads there. And if you pull this out, this is actually the bushing style. Um, you can see there's a plastic bushing, and some. This is the uh, the bearing style, and it just sits in there and pivots on on the bolt here. And then, and this is stainless steel hardware. And on the Impact Tech here, also stainless steel shoulder bolt. Um, these bolts are actually machined to precisely the right tolerance to fit the bearing in there. They, it's not just like an off-the-shelf part. They are custom made. Uh, inside the pivot area, there are two Delrin bushings for the top and the bottom between the metals. So there's a, so this doesn't, it's not metal against metal. It has a a surface to pivot against. Um, this is the needle bearing. 
that type of bearing that has like little rollers, needle rollers in there. And that's what contacts the pivot bolt. And that's the differences there. So the actual construction of the the levers, um, the the RSC is a really robust, solid, uh, well machined, um, pretty beefy. I I can't imagine this ever failing. I've seen plenty of them where people crash and they're scraped up and they still work fine. Uh, RSC offers a lifetime warranty on the function, which does not include cosmetics, so if you do crash and it's all scraped up, it's, that's not going to be covered by warranty. It's only if it won't actually work on your bike anymore and function as an easy pull clutch. Which, like I said, is pretty unlikely because I've seen them scraped really bad where the bike landed on the lever and it still worked fine. The RSC is made out of 6061 aluminum, which is a real common uh, machinable, strong, nice, good aluminum used on most billet parts. That's pretty typical. The Impact Tech is made out of 7071 aerospace grade aluminum. It's it's a harder, a stronger, more a stronger, denser aluminum. Uh, there's you'll, you'll see a difference in sprockets, for instance. Some sprockets companies use 6061, and the teeth are more likely to bend. Uh, I think they wear out faster. There's arguments that it's better if the teeth can bend instead of breaking. Um, I've personally seen where companies like we, the ones we sell, Thrust Sprockets, uh, are, are, 60, are the 70, 71, the stronger aluminum and anodized, and they'll last a lot longer and the teeth are a lot stronger and they don't bend and change shape. Um, okay, so both of these have stainless steel hardware. Uh, the RSC has an aluminum adjuster, and I, uh, you have a, a lock, a lock nut here. So that the the proper way to set these up, by the way, is to have the adjuster all the way in as far as you can. Then go to the other end of your your clutch cable and adjust the slack out so that there's just a little bit of slack in the cable and then fine tune with, with this adjuster to, to set it where you want it. I prefer it just about all the way out where there's very little slack so that if I just a little bit of pull it disengages my clutch really easily. It's That way you can stall easier. Just not having to pull the lever as far is my preference. Um, some people maybe have shorter fingers they don't want to have to pull as far. There's different options. Um, on the RFC there's this adjuster here where you can actually adjust this set screw in and it'll push the lever out like this and that's where it would rest at when it's shut all the way so it can get your lever closer to the bar. Um, I've really never seen anyone use that but it's there. Uh, that would be the purpose is if you wanted to have a shorter travel. Most bikes that won't work on because you need the full travel to disengage the clutch all the way. Um, the Impact Tech does not have that. But as like I said, I've always taken these out and tossed them, and I've really never seen anyone use it, but maybe some people do. Okay, what else we got here? Um, the RC has two positions here. One that's easier to pull, which is the one that's further down toward the pivot bolt, and one that's more closer to the stock uh, position. I'm not 100% sure why they offer the two positions. I've seen levers from RSC with just one hole, and I've seen them with the two holes. Uh, if you, one thing to keep in mind, with, with since these do have two holes on most of the newer ones, is that you re really need to make sure that your cable has that little kind of like plastic spacer around it to fill this hole completely, because if you only have the metal, it can eventually slip to the next position. Um, has a pretty nice feel with a nice big rounded over edge and 
this lever is available with a 7 8 inch handlebar hole and there's also a 1 inch handlebar hole for, for uh, Harleys and some of the European bikes. Let's see, uh, this adjuster here, again, is made out of aluminum. It has a knurled surface so you can kind of tighten it up with your hands. Uh, the cable, when you're installing it, you need to line up these splits with the split in the top of the lever here so that you can get the cable onto it and then adjust from there. Okay, now, the new impact tech clutch. This is probably for the person that is not trying to spend the least amount of money because they're obviously it's it is a higher cost product, but the features that it comes with um, don't put it that much higher than an RC. Where I've heard when they first came out, a lot of people were complaining, "Oh my gosh, this lever is $150." Okay, well compared to the RC, which is 120, and so people are saying uh, like there's it's a difference. It's 30 bucks, but for the 30 bucks, it's coming any color you want anodized, which is also the case with RC now, and it didn't used to be. It used to be a premium for colors. Um, this lever is anodized in a Type 2 hard anodizing. It looks like it's polished ahead of time, where there's kind of a, a satin finish on the RC. Uh, maybe it's tumbled or uh, some other type of finish before it gets anodized and has kind of a satin flat look. And the, RC, the Impact Techs are real shiny. Um, hard anodize. The adjuster on this lever is made out of stainless steel. Uh, I've heard concerns about the cable rubbing. Um, if the cable rubs on aluminum, the cable is stainless steel and it's going to be stronger than the aluminum and it's not going to cause any problems with fraying your cable or anything like that. Um, this adjuster, because it's stainless steel, it's a lot, lot stronger material and it has a very wide opening. And so if you install this clutch and take a look with the lever bent down, you'll see that the cable actually never contacts, doesn't have any way of ever contacting this adjuster because the hole through the adjuster is much wider. And that's available because it is such a harder, stronger material that it can be thinner and still maintain its strength. And like I said, you can clearly see like a giant opening down the middle there. Um, where this one's much smaller, I guess more likely for the, the cable to be able to rub on it. The way these mount, this one has the perch that has two bolts that come in from the rear. Um, this one has the bolts from the top and it kind of clamps over the, the bar there and have nuts in the back side so you can't strip it out. not really heard of too many people stripping out an RSC, but this one is just threaded, uh, so maybe it's better if there's a nut that can't be stripped, or if there was a problem where it got stripped, it can be replaced. Something else I noticed putting this back together is with the lock nut completely tightened up as tight as it goes, this pivot bolt is still very free you cannot over tighten it and make the lever get tighter or harder to operate. So we package them with these cards that make it really easy to tell what the price is, what type of lever it is, so whether it's for uh, with the RSC, if it's for 7 8 inch uh, bars or 1 inch for Harley or European bikes uh, or something with the 1 inch handle bars, um, whether it's bushing, bearing, 5 inch or 4 inch lever and then makes it real easy. Um, all the uh, features listed uh, again with the RC there's you can get the Delrin or sealed bearing um, it's, it's 6061 billet aluminum there's eight color choices uh, those are silver, black, blue, green, gold, red, purple and polished. And those are the options for RSC. And then with the Impact Tech, really the current 
only options there are are the four inch or five inch lever, so that's all we have at the moment. Um, color choices for impact tech are um, also all the same ones I mentioned with with RSC, uh, the silver, black, gold, green, blue, red, polished, purple. And then they also have kind of a bronze color and a gunmetal color. And I'm not sure if there'll be others added later. Um, that's what there is right now. Um, okay, then one more thing to talk about here is uh, we have the levers available separately if you ever wanted to upgrade, to say, a bushing style to a bearing style, um, or if you had damage or something. This is the perch spacer that you see on our website as an option. It's $14. Um, what this does is it comes with the spacer and longer bolts that you need for them. And then grab the tool here. On some bikes, uh, particularly I've heard on F4i, I believe, the uh, lever travel is not far enough to fully disengage the clutch, say for like a to do a coaster or just like the clutch drags a little bit. So RC makes this little spacer here. Goes in oops, goes in right here and like basically pushes the lever. It's hard to videotape this and do it at the same time. Um, and basically pushes the lever a little bit further off of the handlebar so that this is farther away and gives a little bit extra travel here. Most bikes don't need it. Um, as, like I said, only certain situations, maybe some people have really large hands and they want an extra reach or something like that. Uh, but that's what we got going on here. If you do use the perch spacer, like I said, it comes with longer bolts so that they'll reach through and bolt the cap back on there. Notice on the RSC that it comes with two different length bolts for the perch cap. Uh, the reason for this is with it on the bar sitting flush, there's a gap on the lower section. So it looks nice on the bike. You tighten the top up and it's got a nice tight seal. And the bottom gives you the, able, the ability to tighten it down and like clamp harder against the bar. And so the longer bolt will go on the bottom, the shorter one on the top. Thanks for tuning in and uh, hopefully one of these will work out nicely for you.